Hello everyone. So this is what we're going to do today. So let's take a look. Let me play it. Okay. Let me play again. Fading in and shadows moving and fading in again and boom. And staying about three to four seconds. Okay, so um once we're done, we're going to export it as MP4 file for Instagram or YouTube or for any purpose. Same result. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so please download this image first from the link I provided, shield.psd, and this file has three different layers. Uh, the cap letter G on top with some kind of 3D effect and then a shield on the second layer and the bottom layer is the um, like a dark sand image okay now in anime CC I created a new document um, the size is 600 by 600 pixel dimension and white background and 24 frames per second and then um, this is HTML5 canvas, but it really doesn't matter. You can use either uh, HTML5 canvas or ActionScript uh, 3.0. Either one's fine. Okay, so first, uh, as always, um, my working kind of routine is uh, I set the final layout first, and then I apply the animation kind of backward. So same way, uh, let me open that Photoshop file and then I'm going to make a copy of each layer copy command C or control C and then uh, in anime CC uh, paste it command V on 0 by 0 point okay and then also I have two more layers uh, shield copy to animate Paste it. Looks good. And the last, and my Photoshop, cap letter G, copy, and anyway, CC and command V. Paste it. And let me center it. Okay, looks okay. So this is a kind of uh, my final uh, stage, final layout. Uh, but um, <clears throat> there are uh, three different objects in one layer background, shield, and the letter G so we need to separate it so uh, select your first keyframe or select all images go to modify, timeline, and distribute to layers okay so um, each layer can have the, each just one object and the very top layer I don't need it the layer one is empty so um, get rid of it and bottom layer is a shell I'm going to rename it uh, the bottom layer is not shell it's a background BG sorry second layer that's the shield shield I don't know, my brain doesn't work properly shield <laughs> okay and then uh, this is big letter G I'm going to rename it as a G underscore style because I use this on Photoshop style. Okay, so that's it. So this is the final version. But as you remember that, uh, we started from um, white. So this, okay. So we're going to add these things for this and this portion. Okay, so. Let me create a new layer on top, and this time I'm going to name it as a G underscore white. Okay, and then let me type on top layer, this G white layer, let me type the letter G in white. Okay, and I'm going to match the size of this white G to uh, this the three-dimensional looking letter G, the golden letter G behind. Better way, yes, I'm going to 
break apart as a graphic. Let me use a free transform tool and go down the shift. I think it looks good. Let me arrange it, reposition it on top of this golden G, 3D G. Yep, looks okay. Yep. Okay. Then now, hide all three bottom layers. And the very top layer, I have a white G. So it's a white on white, so we see nothing. So first the thing is, select your letter G. Okay, just like this. And then, uh, you may go to modify, convert to symbol, or make sure your letter G is selected as a graphic. Or in your properties panel, if you're using the um, uh, Anyway Assist 2020, uh, there is a button, convert to symbol. So either way is fine. So convert to symbol. I'm going to name it as a letter G. Mm, type is a movie clip, as a movie clip symbol. Okay. Okay. Then now, select your letter, the white letter G movie clip symbol on your stage. Click on it make sure you click on the stage and then scroll down you're going to see the filters let me uh, add a new filter by clicking on this plus button drop shadow okay and then i place keep the constraint the pro same proportions x and y blur uh, value let me Maybe about 45 looks okay. And the distance, maybe same amount, 45. Angle, maybe zero. Uh, you know what? The distance, maybe for now, <clears throat> I will start from the zero. Okay. So, <clears throat> on my first keyframe in this G white layer, highlight the frame. Go to Insert menu, create Classic Twin. On one second mark, insert a keyframe. So my plan is I'm going to start uh, from nothing, white. So select your letter G on frame number one. Then go to um, Properties panel, Color Effect, Alpha, starting from zero. So we can have fade in. So starting from 0 to 100, 0 to 100. Okay, now on second mark, I mean, yeah, the two second mark. On two second mark, let me insert a keyframe. Um, let me change the um, some of the filter options. Still, the yeah, that the blur filter is applied. And on two second mark, uh, let me change it then just the distance a little bit further, like a 45. And it looks kind of a too strong. Let me change the strength down to uh, maybe 70. Okay. So um, it will look like this fade in and the shadow is moving. Okay, then next, on three second mark, highlight it, insert the keyframe, and then select your image, your letter G, on your stage, click on it. Now, properties panel will show you this. I'm going to change the angle, like a 180. So this happens. It's like a kind of your light source is moving. Fade in. And moving. Okay, let me add one more second. Insert another keyframe, then select your the letter G on your stage. Click on it. Let me change the distance down to zero.
Okay. Then my next plan is once this letter G has set the position like this, I want to make it fade out. And at the same time, my um, uh, the golden letter G, 3D letter G, will be uh, presenting. So it's a kind of overlapping. So white G is fading out at the same time. Uh, the 3D G will be fading in. It's a kind of overlapping. Okay, so after this, let me add yet another uh, one second, one second, or one more second on the five second mark. Insert the keyframe. Now, let me reveal the other G style layer. Selected this letter G, 3D G, and grab that frame and drag it to four second mark. That's where this the uh, the, uh, the big I mean the three D G uh, starts kind of uh, uh, presenting. Okay, go to insert menu, create classic twin on five second mark. Insert a keyframe. So that letter G is behind. So my next thing is select the white G on top on the very last keyframe on five second mark. And change the alpha value down to zero. Isn't it nice? Okay, let me play. Yep. So it's not too bad. But also at the same time, I want to make that background is fading in. Okay. So um background is on the bottom as I did highlight the first keyframe and keep pressing your bounce button on frame number one grab it and drag it to four second mark where the, the 3d G starts kind of uh, uh, fading in and then revealing so uh, what I'm gonna do is insert create classic twin on five second mark, insert a keyframe. I want to apply the fading in. So um, um, on four second mark, your playhead is on the other first keyframe of this the BG black sand background. Click on your image on your stage, and alpha from zero to hundred, like this. So this is what we have so far. Okay, next thing is a shield. Um, as I did, highlight the, uh, the first keyframe of the shield layer. Keep pressing your mouse button on the first keyframe, grab it, and drag it to somewhere here, five second mark. Okay, and still that frame is selected. There's your shield. Insert create classic twin and maybe on 125. Insert the keyframe. Okay, um, and I also need to keep the uh, my uh, letter G and then um, everything. So keep. This letter G style one, that's what we need. Insert a keyframe. Okay, and then the BG, your background, I need to keep it as well. Okay, but on the shield is kind of uh, just a, uh, it's a popping up now. Uh, we want to have kind of a little more uh, dramatic and then a smoother uh, transitions. So, shield layer, select the first keyframe. Click on your shield. I'm going to make it smaller by choosing this uh, free transform tool. Hold down the shift key, make it smaller, like this. Also, I want to change the color effect alpha, like a zero. So it's getting bigger and fading in very quickly, like this. 
okay and also on the very first keyframe of this shield animation uh, let me change the class uh, the ease option so maybe minus 100 so watch this fading in moving fading out and G and shield again okay so uh, it is almost done but uh, if you want to upload it onto um, um, like Instagram Instagram video will play automatically so um, it would be good to allow to have some kind of a time for the viewer so they can say they can see the um, uh, or they can read uh, your the videos uh, so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign maybe um, three to four more seconds so maybe a second mark or a nine second mark just insert the keyframe and that's it so it will stay uh, about uh, three to four seconds after this and goes back to the very beginning and playing again so that's it so save it as not in here okay maybe um, I have a few G's <laughs> G underscore uh, new dot FLA. Okay, now go to file, export video and media because I'm going to export as the MP4 file. Uh, okay, format H264 and YouTube 720. We will have the MP4 extension. And then, uh, yeah, the same for the G new and export. And let me check my folder um, on my desktop. That was look at my desktop test G new MP4. So that's what we have. And next I'm going to show you how to upload it to um, um, your Instagram. Okay, first yeah, I transferred my file, my MP4 file from my computer to my iPhone using AirDrop. So let me check if I have the file correctly. Yep, it's here. Okay, so I'm going to upload it on to my um, um, Instagram. Uh, my Instagram okay so uh, let me find yep, it's here I'm not gonna change anything next and next and share okay so it is on my Instagram staying about three to four seconds <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and looping. Okay. So thanks for watching uh, and see you next time. See you next time.